Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shop. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you today. Doing something a little bit different, though. I'm doing regs. I haven't played regs in a long time. Uh, this is actually one of the first games of regs that I played all this year. And the reason I'm doing that is because I've actually had some people in my comment section uh, tell me that uh, you know, Reg's gameplay is different than Mutt gameplay, so I decided I'm going to try that. If you guys want to see uh, a little bit more uh, of Reg's gameplay, um, you know, rather than Mutt, let me know in the comment section at the like button, and I'll do that. But ultimately today, I'm going to be doing pretty much, you know, using the exact same plays that I always use. I'm just going to use it in a different game mode and see how that works out. Because like I said, I pretty much don't play Reg's. I just play Mutt. I play Draft Champion, stuff like that. Starting off this game, I picked the Carolina Panthers. That's probably my favorite team, and I'll show you why as we get into the game. Number one, they just have a lot of speed in the right places and to me speed is the only thing that matters i thought about picking the niners but i had a feeling that everybody is going to be the niners online and i don't want to be a try hard so like i said to me the panthers are probably my favorite team this year without a doubt in madden so if i play a game it's going to be panthers so here we go on defense this play here is going to be one of the plays that i highlight today uh it's the it's a play that i've shown before it's the 335 mike blitz zero but i'm gonna show two different ways that i run it today today i'm gonna run it a new way that i find really kicks his blitz up a notch and really makes it a much better play now the old-fashioned way i just spread everybody qb contain and bring this safety down to the box this is one of the reasons i decided to play this particular game mode is i had people tell me that the qb contain doesn't come off the edge like that and on the very first play with a very mediocre player in Mario Addison a guy who I essentially bench most of the time that I play he comes screaming off the edge 76 overall 79 speed I typically switch him out for Brian Burns but you can see without a doubt it doesn't matter like people try to say that it doesn't work because you don't have 95 overall players 97 overall players all over your roster it really doesn't matter as you can see right there we get the exact same uh, result we get screaming edge heat no matter what team you're using or what type of team you have, you're going to get that because it's the play that matters. So very next play, weird animation there. And on 4th and 8 from his own 21, he decides to go for it. Gotcha, bitch. Something I realized, there's not a lot of difference in how stupid people want to play when they play Mutt or Regs. It's the same thing. Like, that's a dumb move. Like, punt the ball away. So he gives me the ball inside the 30 field goal range already. Uh, very first play, Here. Cam Newton starts the game off with a beautiful throw into the third row as he uh, just doesn't quite have the accuracy on the run there. Next play, 2nd and 10. I'm looking for the RB route the entire way. Just waiting for him to clear this uh, zone. And sure enough, once again, Cam Newton puts it on a dime. What? And for some reason, it's incomplete. So then on third and 10, uh, he doesn't quite cover the running back pre-snap. So I throw it up for him. I make another possession catch. I get the check mark and everything, and it's incomplete again. What the fuck? So Cam Newton goes 0 for 3, despite, you know, at least two of them being complete. I think they were pretty much all open. I don't know. That's not the best start to the game. So my opponent here just starts hitting some crossers. That seems to be the extent of his offense, as you're going to see uh, these first couple of plays. He's pretty much just running stretches and hitting slants. The Niners are a pretty good team as well, considering how much team speed they have, especially a running back. They got three running backs that are all fast. You could just run them into the ground, which, like I said, most people probably uh, prefer to do. My opponent here is definitely working his running backs. Very next play. Oh, we can go. Nice game, Madden. As you can see right there, he probably thought that was some like insane nano. Because on the very next play, I pick him off as he's uh, going over the middle. Gotcha, bitch. And uh, sure enough, he's going to go. He's going to head for the exits. Like I said, he probably thought I was cheating based off of some really random shit that EA did. See ya. So, next game, we have somebody using the Chiefs. Like I said, I pretty much figured that, uh, you know, just about everybody would be using those two teams. And I didn't want to be like that. Props to all the people out there that give this game a little bit of a variety and aren't using the two teams that went to the Super Bowl every other game, but it is what it is. So, next play, like I said, there's two ways to run this play. The first way I mentioned, I'm just going to bring this guy down to the box and basically, you know, let the outside guys do their job. There's another way to get a gap heat, which I'm going to do in a minute, where essentially all I'm going to do is I'm going to back up, wait for the play to start, and then I'm going to sprint right through the gap right in front of me, which you're going to see him have a lot of success in this particular game uh, doing. He runs the ball in that particular play uh, but you're going to see how we have a lot of success doing that moving forward so I'm going to use a couple different plays here uh, since I'm running against Tyree Kill I'm going to make sure that I change my cornerback matchups to by speed uh, because I do have a 95 speed cornerback in Jackson and I want to make sure that uh, he's matched up properly so very next play like I said we're just continuing to stack this box he barely gets the first down there next play we're going right back to that blitz I'm going to use her this gap because it looks like it could be an inside zone once again sure enough we get that edge pressure so like I said a lot of people 
arguing that uh, you know QB Contain isn't as glitchy as I basically stated in the previous video. You can see it's having the same success right here, whether it's mud or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. So next play, once again, we got Edge Heat coming right off the edge. Two plays in a row. Forces a bad throw, and uh, we get a pick. As uh, Like I said, I'm glad I made that adjustment because Jackson is probably the only guy on my team that can cover him. And we're starting the game off right. So on defense, once again, like I said, I'm going to use I'm gonna use this gap. This is going to be the first play where I do this. Uh, where basically I just wait for the snap, and you can see how all the blitzing guys just creates a huge gap right through the middle, and I'm going to take advantage of that. Then my opponent starts running a little bit of a hurry up. Which I think turns out to be a harder thing to stop than his actual offense. I mean, he's just hit me with some pretty basic stuff, but I don't really have the time to read and react because I'm too busy just trying to get my defense set up. Very next play. But I'm just playing slightly behind, uh, which is going to be, like I said, I'm, I'm so focused on just getting the play set that I don't even really get enough time. And he's, uh, he's having a little bit of success, as you can see right there. Get to the second and one, dinking and dunking me a little bit. Swing routes, hitting me underneath. And on the next play, uh, Kukli comes up with a very big play, stopping him in the backfield. So we get into a third and three. Like I said, expecting a run play. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna shoot this gap one more time, only this time. I just slightly get cut off. He just, you can see he flipped it last second, ran away from the oncoming blitz. Uh, and, uh, you know, that was basically the play. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Then right here, I don't know what happened there. I mean, come on, man. Like, you tell me that wasn't a pick? Look at that. He basically grabbed it around my linebacker's head. I mean, that type of stuff. I don't know. I didn't know that type of animations happened in Madden. So next play, this play stops the run as well. You can see he comes right off the edge. Uh, very, very good play. Very uh, consistent play. My user just a little bit behind. That's the one thing I definitely have uh, in Mutt that I don't have in this game is a lightning fast, lightning quick user. Uh, as uh, you know, I'm trying with some of these safeties and linebackers. They're just not as fast. Typically, my team is built on speed in Mutt. So I'm feeling it a little bit there, uh, but ultimately, I mean, the blitzes are working the exact same way. You can see they're coming off the edge with some heat, uh, and we're having as much success as we can, considering. Uh, so second goal, he's you know second goal from the 17 is he's I'm trying to set up another blitz. Yeah. And you can see right here, he just beats me once again. Just a, just a hair behind on the user, uh, which, you know, I'll catch up. The game's early. Uh, a lot of times it takes a little while, a little bit of, you know, repetition before you start getting the timing of your opponent. So next play, very first play. I wish I had a faster tight end than Greg Olson. You can see right here, he just doesn't quite have the speed to get going. It looks like he did, but then, bam, we get stuck on a one-yard line. And then the very next uh, play, we're just going to punch it in. My opponent here... Mm -hmm outthinks himself just a little bit pinches everybody which is not where the run play is going anyway it was going to be a stretch so he basically just made it easier for me uh and then we're back on defense for the most part, I don't feel like my opponent has necessarily had the most success on offense. Uh, he's run the ball way more than I would expect somebody to run the ball uh, if they had the Chiefs. I mean, if you take the Chiefs, you're doing it to throw the ball. He's run the ball a lot. So to me, I mean, I don't know if my defense is having success making him call things he doesn't want to call. As you can see right here, we get the stop on third and one. He goes for it on fourth and inches, hits me with a QB sneak. I wasn't even thinking QB sneak. To me, the QB sneak is broken. It doesn't even work anymore. I was shocked. So then he goes to Dinkin and Duncan again. I mean, you got the, this type of weaponry on offense. You really should be bombing up. You should be playing like I'm playing. So next play, we're going to go. We're gonna shoot this gap one more time. I, I tell you, I'm a little late coming down to the box. That's something that I noticed. I don't know if that's something that's just on regs. But a lot of times when I'm trying to bring the safety down, it hesitates and like sticks. As you can see right there, I'm trying to bring this guy down the box. I'm not trying to be a user. So I don't know if that's something. I don't notice that in Mutt. That never happens in Mutt. That happened multiple times in this particular gameplay. So I don't know if that's something that's unique to this game mode or what. But it wouldn't surprise me if this is just another way that EA is trying to penalize you setting up your defense. I mean, how many penalties can they make for this game? Uh, next play, I mean, I switch over to a zone. Gotcha, bitch. And sure enough, he just puts the ball into danger. And we get the pick. So up 14-7. Uh, you know, my, like I said, my defense is playing good. Uh, we're gonna take that into the second half. I took a couple of shots there at the end of the quarter, but um, you know, nothing worked out. And then on the very next play, break yourself, fool. This guy is open so wide. This is one of the reasons that I use uh, this particular team is because uh, Samuel is basically Tyree Kill light. He's just so lights out. He's so fast. Um, as he, he was wide open by a mile. I didn't even want to pass lead that because I didn't want to take the chance that I threw towards the corner. So back on defense, second and eight. I go ahead. I'm going to spread these guys, gotcha, stand them up because I think he's basically trying to throw over it. And then sure enough, I just drop right into uh, right into the area where he's throwing the ball. We get a pick. He thought about quitting too. I mean, this is just like the first guy there's so many quitters it doesn't matter what game mode you play people are just quitters as you can see right here he's trying to quit down 21 7 
He comes back for just a few more plays, as you can see, uh, Christian McCaffrey. I'm just going to take it easy. I mean, I can tell he's this close to hitting the exits, so I'm just going to put him away, uh, let Christian McCaffrey score another touchdown, just a simple stretch play. That's another reason why I take this team. Christian McCaffrey's a beast. I thought he quit out again. I thought he pulled the ripcord again, just like the previous guy. But sure enough, I guess he wanted to run a couple offensive plays first before he did, which gives me an opportunity to throw off this blitz one more time, as you can see right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna shoot this gap one more time. Like I said, just standing right behind this guy. I don't actually hit it, but since I got picked up a little bit, or I kind of didn't run through it right uh you can see everybody else comes through on the very next play i try to shoot again and sure enough uh the left defensive end comes through and that's it my opponent's had enough there he's gonna go ahead he's gonna head for the exits so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more regs like i was saying do me a favor let me know in the comment section or hit the like button i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man my shit out Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.